Those gathered for the General Assembly were first welcomed by the Director General of the Rwanda Broadcasting Agency, which is hosting the event. Arthur Asime pointed out the need for Africans to make the transition to digital broadcasting, stressing that analog technology no longer has a place in today's media sector. Distinguished guests, the summit will be discussing an important subject that touches on the heart of broadcasting in Africa. Whereas the rest of the world has successfully switched to digital technology, Africa continues to lag behind. Whereas the rest of the world has moved from technologies such as SD to HD to Ultra HD to 4K and now even some testing 8K, we are still talking of analog technology in Africa. At this summit, we should come up with a Marshall Plan of how to fast track the switch to digital technology and make concrete recommendations for countries that have not made it, which up to today represents more than two-thirds of the African countries. Other speakers to address the assembly included Jean-Philbert Sengimana, the special advisor to the executive director of Smart Africa, the president of the African Union of Broadcasting, the CEO of the AUB, and the president of the Confederation of African Football, who had been extended an invitation to attend the AUB summit and accepted the guest of honor at the 11th General Assembly Ordinary Session of the African Union of Broadcasting was Louise Mushichiwawo, who is Rwanda's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Cooperation and the EAC. She is also the government spokesperson and addressed those present in that capacity. She assured African media practitioners of the support of the African Union that is currently chaired by President Paul Kagame and even quoted the Rwandan head of state on the unfortunate fact of how Africa's news are largely told by others who put their own twist to the stories and emphasized how Africa needs to tell its own story. Allow me to um, re-echo uh, President Paul Kagame's advice to the East African Community Media Fraternity during a summit held here in Kigali seven years ago, seven years ago already, and I quote, for far too long, the international media, with its own objectives and interests, has dominated the region and set the news agenda. This often means that they tell our own story from their perspective at best and at worst, distort it altogether. As has become all too evident in our region, such misrepresentation derails our progress or even fuels conflict and other problems that destroy our gains. This is made worse when our own media either remain silent or relay the same stories told from a biased standpoint, becoming unknowingly complicit, therefore, in perpetuating these views imposed from outside." End of quote. While the General Assembly ordinary session was in progress, Mr. Ahmad Ahmad Kaf's president met with the Executive Council members in a restricted extraordinary session. After the conclusion of that extraordinary session, Mr. Ahmad held a press conference to respond to several questions from journalists, which included the issue of rebroadcast rights for television stations on the continent when it comes to some of football's biggest competitions in Africa. It was noted that talks are still ongoing for all parties involved in the matter.